Hi friends, today we are going to see the packet tracer activity implementing a subnetted IPv6 addressing scheme. So friends, before coming to our packet tracer activity, uh, if you are watching our channel first time or if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. And one more thing, you can enable that bell icon near the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, coming back to our activity. Here we can see our addressing table. If we observe, we can see this addressing table is incomplete. We will complete this addressing table as per the instructions. And here is our objectives. We will go through it. In part 1, determine the IPv6 subnets and addressing scheme. In part 2, configure the IPv6 addressing on routers and PCs and verify connectivity. Yes, here nothing difficult. So we will come to part 1, determine the IPv6 subnets and addressing scheme. Step 1, determine the number of subnets needed. Here I start with the IPv6 subnet 2001 colon GBH colon ACAD colon 00C8 double colon slash 64 and assign it to the R1 LAN attached to gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 as shown in the subnet table. That can be done. So coming to our topology here we can see a router R1 and here we can see the interface a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay then for the rest of the IPv6 subnets increment the 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 00z8 double colon slash 64 subnet address by 1 and complete the subnet table with the IPv6 subnet addresses. Here we can see the subnet table what they given. Uh, here they given this subnet address uh, for this uh, R1 G0 slash 0 LAN. So we have to uh, find for other uh, LANs R1, R2, R3 and WAN link. Yes, now we will update this uh, subnet table by incrementing the subnet address uh, by 1. Uh, it's quite easy. Here is our subnet table. Uh, now we will go to R1 G0 slash 1 LAN. We will copy this address and we will paste it here. And here we will increment the uh, subnet. We will give uh, 00 C9. Okay. Again, we will uh, copy this address and we will paste it here. Then increment by 1. It's a hexadecimal number. So here, after 9, we have to give A. Okay, we can go for the next one. It's B. And the van link. It's C. So here a subnet table is ready. So what is next? We will see that. Coming to step 2. Assign IPv6 addressing to the routers. Assign the first IPv6 addresses to R1 for the two LAN links and the WAN link. That can be done very easily. Coming to our spreadsheet, here is our addressing table, we will complete it. And coming to our subnet table, here we can see router R1 for the interface G0 slash 0. Uh, we have to use this subnet address. We will copy it. And coming to our addressing table, Here we are going to use the first address, double colon 1. Next is uh, on the device R1 interface G0 slash 1. Coming to our subnet table, uh, here we can see R1 G0 slash 1. Here is a subnet address. We will copy this address. Coming to our addressing table, and here we will use the first address. We'll change this 0 to 1. And coming to the WAN link, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we can see WAN link. We will copy this uh, submit address. Coming to our addressing table. Here we will use the first address. It's here. Now what is next for the device R2? 
okay so we will uh, come to our uh, activity here we can see assign the first ipv6 addresses to r2 for the two lands okay that can be done then assign the second ipv6 address for the wan link yes uh, for the wan link we already used the first ipv6 address uh, on this router r1 so the second ipv6 address we will assign for this uh, wan link on this router r2 it's quite easy so we will come to our spreadsheet g0 slash 0 on this router r2 coming to our subnet table here we can see r2 g0 slash 0 we will uh, copy this address coming to our addressing table first ipv6 address it's here next is a g0 slash 1 g0 slash 1 we will uh, copy this address submit address and uh, we will use the first usable ipv6 address so 0 we will change to 1 and uh, finally coming to the van link a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this uh, router r2 here we can see van link we will copy this address here we will use the second ipv6 address it's a 2 yes as we told here we are using the second ipv6 address because the first usable ipv6 address already used uh, for this uh, wan link on this router r1 okay what is next document the ipv6 addressing scheme in the addressing table yes it's ready Now we will move to part 2 configure the ipv6 addressing on routers and pcs and verify connectivity step 1 configure the routers with ipv6 addressing that can be done uh, this network is already configured with some ipv6 commands that are covered in a later course at this point in your studies you only need to know how to configure ipv6 address on an interface okay that can be done we are going to assign ipv6 address uh, on an interface so configure r1 and r2 with the ipv6 addresses you specified in the addressing table and activate the interfaces okay we will uh, do it on this uh, router r1 coming to our addressing table here we can see the ipv6 address uh, for the interface g0 slash 0 on this device r1 we will uh, copy this address and coming to our uh, topology coming to r1 we will go to cli enable configure terminal we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will set the ipv6 address so we already copied that address we'll paste it here then press enter also we have to configure a link local address so coming to our addressing table here we can see link local address we will set it it's ipv6 address it's here as a link local address now we will uh, bring this uh, interface that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, up we have to give the command no shutdown and coming to our topology here we can see uh, the link between uh, this router r1 and uh, uh, the switch s1 is up now we will configure uh, the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 on this router r1 we will get the ipv6 address it's here we will copy this address and here we can see the link local address we will exit and we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 we will set ipv6 address it's here also we will set ipv6 address uh, here we will use up arrow and we will get that link local address it's here fe80 double colon 1 link local then we will give no shutdown command yes now we can see the link between this router r1 and the switch s2 is up now we will configure this wan link that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this router r1 
we will get the ipv6 address for this interface it's here we will copy this address we will exit from this interface then we will go to this uh, van link uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 then we will set ipv6 address it's here then we will set ipv6 address but i will use up arrow it's already there link local okay then we will give no shutdown command everything done on this router r1 now we will move to r2 we will configure the interfaces coming to addressing table uh, for the interface g0 slash 0 on this router r2 we can see the ipv6 address we will copy it coming to r2 press return to get started okay enable configure terminal we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we will set ipv6 address it's here we already copied also we have to set ipv6 a link local address here we can see that fe80 double colon 2 we will copy this address and coming to this router r2 we will give ipv6 address here is that address as a link local then we will give a no shutdown command now here we can see the link between this router r2 and uh, the switch S3 is up. Now we will configure uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. Coming to our addressing table, here we can see G0 slash 1. We will uh, copy this address. We will exit and we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. Then we will set IPv6 address. It's here. Also, we will uh, set link local address. Here is that IPv6 address FE80 double colon 2 link local. Now we will give no shutdown command. Yes, now we can see the link between this router R2 and the S4 is up. And finally, we are going to configure this WAN interface on this router R2. We will get the IPv6 address of this WAN link serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. We will configure it. Exit and go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And here we have to set this IPv6 address. It's here. Then we have to set the uh, link local IPv6 address. It's here. Then we have to give a no shutdown command. Yes, here we can see that uh, this WAN link is up. What is next? Step 2. Configure the PCs to automatically receive IPv6 addressing. Configure the four PCs for auto configuration. Each should then automatically receive full IPv6 addresses from the routers. Easy to do that. So coming to PC1, we will go to uh, desktop IP configuration. Here we can see IPv6 configuration. Here we will uh, select this auto config. So IPv6 auto config request successful. Here we can see IPv6 address automatically assigned. And here we can see the prefix. And here is IPv6 gateway, FE80 double colon 1. Same way we will repeat on this uh, PC2, PC3 and PC4. Coming to PC2, desktop IP configuration, auto config. Yes, uh, this PC2 received IPv6 address. Coming to PC3, desktop IP configuration, auto config, IPv6 auto config request successful. Then coming to PC4, desktop IP configuration, auto config, IPv6 auto config request successful. Finally, we have to verify it. Step 3 Verify connectivity between the PCs. Each PC should be able to ping the other PCs and the routers. 
okay we will do that uh, we will uh, ping from pc4 to pc3 or other pcs we will get the ipv6 address of pc3 we'll go to command prompt and here we will give the command ipv6 config So here we can see IPv6 address. We will copy this address and we will ping it. We will ping from PC4 to this PC3. Already we copied the IPv6 address of PC3. Coming to PC4, command prompt. Here we are going to give ping. Then the address. It's working. Packet sent for, received for, lost zero. Even we can ping to the default gateways. Okay, we will get the IPv6 address for this interface G0 slash 0 on the server R1. Okay, we will go to PC4 and here we will ping to this address. It's working. We can try to one more default gateway. Okay, we'll ping to this uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Ping to that IPv6 address. It's working. That's really nice. Here we can see the completion status. Uh, it's a 40 out of 40. So friends, uh, that's all in this video. That is implementing a subnetted IPv6 addressing scheme. So friends, subscribe and stay tuned. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.